Now we can look at that trend in atomic radius in a little more detail. Here I've plotted schematically the trend from lithium to fluorine and from sodium to chlorine across the periodic table. So I'm going across a row. Lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon is across one row of the periodic table. And then I've gone from sodium to argon across the next row of the periodic table. And what you see is a decrease in the atomic radius. So lithium at 152 picometers, fluorine at 71, we have a decrease as I go across. And we understand that now. We understand that we're going into the same principal quantum level, but we're adding more nuclear charge. As we go across the periodic table, the charge on the nucleus increases by one as we go across in each step, but the electron's in the same region of space. So those two p orbitals that start out rather large at boron are contracting and getting smaller and smaller by the time I get over to fluorine. That's because a bigger charge on the nucleus. That larger charge at the nucleus is also increasing the ionization energy as we saw. So we understand why ionization energy and atomic radii mirror each other in the trend because of the quantum mechanical structure of the atoms. We can understand trends in the periodic table because of our understanding of quantum mechanics.